Pitchers and position players have historically made up the majority of baseball players over the past 100 years, or at least that was the case until 2018, when Shohei Otani moved to the US from Japan and went on to become a top pitcher and hitter. He was so spectacular that MLB players like Salvador Perez of Kansas City and Jordan Romano of Toronto thought Otani could be worth anything from $500 to $600 million on the open market. This would put him in the same elite group as Lionel Messi and LeBron James. But is this Japanese player really worth more than half a billion? And has he passed the two biggest names in sport to become the best athlete on earth? Watch on to find out. Now, imagine Patrick Mahomes moonlighting as the NFL's best defensive back or Kylian Mbappe starting as both a scorer and a defender. Then you'll be getting a better idea of how much Shohei Otani, the world's best athlete, has changed history. In reality, these creative comparisons are only possible because the 29-year-old sensation, who can both throw and hit, has no clear equal in modern baseball. After he graduated from high school, Otani said he would sign with a team in the major leagues, so he asked Japanese teams not to draft him. The Nippon Ham fighters did not care about this at all and still went ahead and picked him. They were able to get Otani to sign with them instead of going to the United States, but they had to give him something that no other team was willing to do. They had to let him out of his contracts, let him go to the US whenever he wanted, and let him play both offense and defense, which was something that no other team in the world was even thinking about. Now, the only player who tried this technique in baseball was Babe Ruth. He did this for a year and a half before hanging his boots because it was too difficult. Even though he was a good pitcher, Ruth only played both positions for two years, 1918 and 1919. During that time, his whip, the number of walks and hits he gave up per inning went from a good 1.08 to a bad 1.54. Otani, on the other hand, has an amazing career whip of 1.09, which he got while sharing his time between pitcher and designated hitter. Yes, Ruth's 2.55 era in 1918 and 1919 is more promising than Otani's 3.09 era for his entire career, but Ruth's 2.1 strikeouts per 9 innings in those years pale in comparison to Otani's 11.5. Now, another stat Ruth betted was his batting average. While he had .312, on-base percentage .438, and slugging percentage .614 in 1918 and 1919, Otani's overall slash line .273, .360, .555, however, he never hit more than 30 home runs while starting 10 games as a pitcher in a single season. In 2022, Otani did that in just 81 games. But Otani is not touted as the best athlete in the world just because of his scores or how well he plays the game. He's a natural athlete who can hit a ball at 120 miles per hour, throw as hard as 102.5 miles per hour, and run at 28.8 feet per second, all of which are among the best in baseball. He's doing something we have never seen in our lifetimes, and he's doing it at the very highest level of hitting and pitching. Angels manager Joe Madden commented in 2021, when Otani was on his way to winning American League MVP. Throughout baseball's more than 100-year legacy, Joe Rogan and Martin D. Hugo are the only players who have ever done what Otani is doing, and they did it just for a few seasons. But because of the color barrier, these players never got to play in a Major League Baseball game, despite being so well-known that they made it into the Hall of Fame. So, it was somewhat understandable when no one thought Otani could do it. Scouts in Japan thought that the fighters were ruining his future by letting him take both positions, and the fighters probably would not have let him do both if they did not think it was the only way to keep him from signing to an American team. But in just three years, he became the best starter in the league and the second best hitter in the league. He was the most popular athlete in Japan after winning league MVP and every other award. Otani's decision to join the MLB in 2017 cost him hundreds of millions of dollars. This was because he would have become a free agent and he waited two more years and could have signed a major league deal for around $200 million. Even though he signed with the Angels for less money than he made with the Fighters and $190 million less than if he had waited two more seasons, it did not bother Otani. He was only concerned about being the first 2A player in MLB. Now most MLB pitchers get to the game six hours before it starts. Position players also show up six hours before the game to do position player drills and pitching workouts, but Shohei Otani does both. In theory, that's 12 hours of work a day plus the three hours of games he plays every single night. That's 15 hours of baseball every single day. That does not even consider the crazy travel schedule that professional baseball players have to deal with. 
However, Otani's career almost ended because of his crazy work schedule. His first weekend in MLB as a two-way player was electric. He hit three home runs in his first four games, and in his first two starts, he pitched a perfect game until the seventh inning, while his opponents had a batting average of .093. At one point, he was the choice to win MVP as a rookie, but then everything went wrong. His next stats were bad, and then he got an injury. Shohei Otani had to have Tommy John surgery because he got a blister after getting hurt. When Otani found out that he was going to get Tommy John, he was so sad that he did not leave his house for a whole week. However, he was still allowed to hit, and he put up a good enough number to win Rookie of the Year. But many people took this as proof that he should not even try to pitch. He only did hitting all through 2019 so that his arm could heal, and although he hit well, this affected his body the most. Otani's 2020 career was the worst of his career because he was recovering from elbow and knee injuries while trying to train at two positions, and then came the pandemic. Otani had six days off between starts, slept the day before and after pitching, and was not in the lineup when he pitched. However, his body was still breaking down, and he knew that 2021 was his last chance to show that a two-way player was doable. But his injuries meant the Angels weren't convinced, and they handled it the opposite way. Otani had to play every day and had the duty of hitting and pitching in the same game, giving him a task that had never been seen before in baseball. However, this hectic work schedule eventually led to the best season ever in baseball history, and Otani got some flowers for it. He was the first ever player to be picked for the All-Star team twice in the same season, once as a pitcher and once as a batter. He was chosen to take part in the home run derby. He had his translator catch for him, and he gave the $150,000 he won to the Angels Clubhouse workers. Otani signed All-Star Game shirts sold for more than $130,000, and it was not even worn during the game. In Japan, every Angels game was shown on TV all over the country. There was also an alternate feed where he was filmed the whole time, no matter where he was. He got the Silver Slugger Award, the Best Designated Hitter Award, the AP Male Athlete of the Year Award, the SB Male Athlete of the Year Award, was named one of the top 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine, and was voted MVP by everyone. He was even picked by the Japanese government to get the People's Honor Award of Japan, but Otani turned it down because he thought it was too soon to get the award. In 2022, Otani already had more wins above replacement than he did the previous year. In June of that year, Otani had a stretch of eight games where he did not give up a single run and struck out a crazy 49 of the 50 batters he faced. He also had 12 RBIs and hit four home runs. He racked up 1.8 war. That is more wars than the Detroit Tigers had all season, and it took Otani eight days to rack up. Now that he'll be a free agent at the end of the season, the right-handed ace pitcher and left-handed power hitter is having historic seasons on the field and at the plate. He has 44 home runs, which is the most in big leagues. He's also first in a number of advanced metrics for both batters and pitchers. Since 2021, Otsani's offensive skill are about the same way as Willie May's career stats, and his pitching stats are about the same as Pedro Martinez's career stats, meaning Otsani is two Hall of Fame players in one, which makes him the best athlete in the world. Hit the comments section and tell us what you think of this sensational baseball player, and please subscribe and check out our next video.